Hi, I've been animating with Flash for years, and in all those years, I've been a complete frigging dumbass! All because I didn't know the difference between a movie symbol and a graphic symbol. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to avoid being as big a dumbass as me by showing you the difference. So, let's go! So here we go, we've got Macromedia Flash 8. I know it's a pretty old version, but I might need to buy the new version sometime soon. <coughs> a bit torrent. Um, so say we've got a box here, and this box is blue. And say it's going to change into a red circle. So, basic stuff, basic tweening. Um, so we're just going to add a tween to this to make it change. So yeah, we've got our animation. Let's assume that that's our animation that we want to keep. So we're going to cut all these frames and make a new, insert new symbol. And let's make this one a movie clip. And let's call this one Dumb Ass. Open that. That opens inside the symbol. And we just paste our frames right inside there. Good stuff. Go back and... Go to insert symbol again, new symbol, and let's make this one a graphic. And let's call this one Clever Dick. And we'll just paste exactly the same animation in there. Nothing's changed. So yeah, we've got a timeline. Let's make this timeline 70 frames long. And let's drag the Clever Dick symbol down at the bottom. Um, let's put that one right over there. And then we drag the dumbass symbol right over there. And then we press enter. Now immediately you'll notice that one of them is animated and one of them isn't. Now this isn't a big problem assuming you're going to be exporting your final product in Flash. So test movie, look they both go when you're exporting it in Flash. However, if you're doing animation, like me, you will need this to animate in the timeline like this because if you export it as a movie and you export it as a Windows AVI or a QuickTime, only the uh, graphic will animate like this. The movie, uh, the movie clip will stay stationary like this unless, of course, you are uh, exporting it in Flash. So this just makes things a hell of a lot easier. So say I wanted this to spin around. I can just uh, delete this for a second. Say I wanted this to spin around, convert to keyframes, uh, spin that around, and make that into a motion tween. I can have that spinning around and animating at exactly the same time, which is pretty cool and pretty useful if you're animating. But And um, when I export this in a movie in a quick time or in a Windows AVI, um, it will show it rotating like this. But if, say, we delete that, delete, delete, and then put in the dumbass one, the one that was done in a movie clip, um, and have that rotating, and uh, say you export that, well, see, it looks like that on the timeline, and that's exactly how it's going to look when you export it as a, as a video. Unless you're, of course, exporting it in uh, Flash, in which case it doesn't matter. So there we go. That's a quick tutorial that shows you the difference between uh, a movie clip symbol and a graphic symbol. And I've only genuinely just found out the difference and makes animation a fuck of a lot easier. So, bye!